I assume that you clicked on this video because you want to know how to add editable text fields and live checkboxes and some other interesting features to a PDF file. Uh, maybe this is a planner that you are selling or maybe this is a document for your work. Well, today I'm going to show you how to add text boxes and uh, checkboxes to a PDF file. Unfortunately, uh, for this I use the paid version of Adobe Reader Pro or Pro DC or what is it the name? I will put the logo right here. Your end clients can use it with the free version of Adobe Reader, but to create these uh, text fields and checkboxes, you will need the Pro version. Hi, if we haven't met yet, my name is Emma Chef from Everything Digital and here on this channel I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. This is the first video in a tutorials series, so uh, please consider subscribing to my channel so you will not miss any videos in which I talk about how to create these digital products that you can sell online. So without any further ado, uh, I will take you to my computer screen and I will show you how to add these editable text fields. So here on my screen I have a PDF file opened. It is a finance this is a part of one of my finance planner bundles. It is the baby steps um, debt payoff planner. And the first uh, page here you can see is the starter emergency fund planner and how to get this uh, amount of money together. So I created this page. Uh, this has 13 pages, this PDF document. But now I am going to show you how to add the editable text fields. There is a manual version and there is also uh, more of a, um, there is more of an automatic version as well, which is not as accurate as the manual version. First I will show you the manual version and after that, if you are interested, I will show you the automatic version, which can do what we will do here in about five minutes in one click, but it is not as accurate. So stay tuned for that. So here we are, I opened it in uh, Adobe Reader DC, the paid uh, version of Adobe Reader. And now here you can see on the right side, there is a menu panel. And here we are going to click on, and here we are going to click on this uh, prepare form button. And we are going to hit start. And now the computer is thinking, this is part of the automatic uh, re uh, version. And as you can see, when I hit that button, some of the text fields already populated. Well, I guess I will tell, it, tell you now how to do this, but as you see, I clicked on that button and uh, all of the text fields that uh, Adobe recognized are populated right now. But our design has more fields than uh, what Adobe detected. So now we will have to add the missing uh, text boxes manually. So here on the top, you can see this icon, just click on that. And you can edit wherever you want. And now we have to resize it. Just select the right file to resize. And you can do this like that. And now all of these are named as you can see and here on the right hand side there is a list with the name of every text box that you can see here and we will see here also the checkboxes as well. And now very important if you decide to do uh, to copy and paste these items they have the same name which means that they will be the same on each and every page not just uh, well, it will be the same across all of the PDF document, not just in on that same page. This means that there can be no two text fields with the same name. So now what we can do here is go here on the right and find the duplicate of that text field, double click on it. And now you can change the name and we will change it to text two. If you add them manually one by one, then, then Adobe it will take care of it because it will be numbered uh, it will be numbered automatically. But if you do with the copy paste version, you will have to rename every text field manually. And now here on the bottom you can see 
that we have some circles. When you print these, you just simply put a check mark in it with a pen. Now, we can do this uh, with this check tool here on the top. Click on it and you can drag it right on top of that and put it there. Now it says checkbox too and let's see how it uh, looks uh, when someone opens this file in uh, the free version of Adobe Reader. You just hit on this close and now you can see that they can put a check mark in it. Now we have the next problem. This is a completely 100% uh, opacity item and it also has the black um, stroke on the outside. Now we will have to edit this so that cute pink uh, circle will be visible again. Now we go back to the prepare form and we double click on and we double click on the checkbox and now we go to appearance or you can do right click and properties and here you can see border color we will select no color so we will check this transparent box and we can close this and the fill color we will also select the transparent one close and we can preview it now so as you can see there is no border and the text box is now transparent the blue background only represents the, the special field that we inserted. When this form is printed, there will be no blue background at all. So let's see, let's check it now. And as you can see, we have there the check mark and there is no background at all. Now here, as you can see, Adobe is not the best in recognizing uh, tables, so here we have to add each table because this was automatically recognized as a longer rectangle and not as each um, not as each cell uh, by themselves. So you would have to go in and manually uh, transform these cells. But this is how you do it. It takes time for sure, but. Uh, but once you are done with it, then that is, that's it and you can upload it to Etsy, Shopify, WooCommerce, whichever platform you would want to sell it on and you can start selling it and you don't have to do anything uh, to it anymore. So that was today's tutorial. Please let me know in the comments down below what other tutorials and what other softwares should I create tutorials on and I will take them into consideration in the future. I also have two other tutorials coming up this month and you can leave the suggestions down below and I will put them in uh, next month's plan maybe. Thank you very much for watching. Please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing to my channel and hit the notification bell so you will never miss another video in which I talk about digital products, making money online and business finance. And if you would also like to see some behind the scenes images and uh, snippets of my life, then follow me on Instagram. You can see my handle right there. And I will see you in the next video. Bye bye. When this form is printed, there will be no blue black. There will be no blue brag. There will be no blue background at all.